All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 21 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Daniel the Hangman Hooker. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Arnold Almighty Allen! All right, come into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Whoa! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Big kick lands. Oh, straight right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. My goodness. 
Right hand upstairs. Hooker gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Ooh, nice right hand. Nice leg kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Pretty good right hand. Powerful leg kick land. Just over three minutes to go now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Hooker going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. It's a good right hand right there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes on top. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Switching stances here. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, man, head kick land. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in with us. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighters setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. His misses are entertaining. Nice. Able to check that kick as well. Lands with the right hand. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Big kick land. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Hooker. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice head kick. Oh, nice right hand. Hooker's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swing. Whoa! Final seconds of round one. Oh, he might be out. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will meet Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Here we are, early round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. 
Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Hooker gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, nice move and stick there. We talked a lot about sticking and moving, but slipped that offering and then countered with a punch of his own. I guess it pays to be the longer fighter. At least it certainly did there. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Shot is blocked there by Hooker. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice punch by Hooker. Back to the body shots now, that one blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kid. Straight right is there. Just missed with the left there. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus miss in his opponent. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick land. Well, that body kick was there earlier. Not there on that attempt. job landing the double jab there DC I mean you are definitely pressing that but you love that one, don't you you love that jab big right hook coming it's blocked you gotta get this oh nice elbow what a tricky head kick just out of range with that kick attempt Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Ooh! Nice punch lands over the top. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Hooker's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Punch over the top. Round three next. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end. And how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're going to certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already going to be called in here.
All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy. It was the aggressiveness of the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Beautiful strike. Just out of range with that right hand. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Slips the punch. Unable to land with that punch. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Big leg kick lands. Beautiful punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, left hook. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. Head kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, collar tie. Changes his stance. Nice head kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Can't take any of those, you better check. Beautiful body kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good stick. Nice counter shot there. Real quick leg kick. Lands the right hand. There you go. Ooh, what a head kick. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's recompose. Stay focused. Slips that left hand. Ooh, big shot land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That is. Oh man, this dude is good. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Beautiful body kick. Pretty good kicks there by Hooker. Not there. Nice punch, man. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, both. Both landed. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Great punch landing with so much power.
15 seconds to go. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice leg kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so next round underway here, and you've got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great punch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, that right hand is on point. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Kick. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. That was a thudding leg. Kick. And he connects with the punch there. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent's Right head. at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. He throws the right hand there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Hooker. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, nice right hand. Good punch. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, straight right. Got the turnover in that kick. The right hook to the body. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Under two minutes to go in the round. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. What a punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. His leg is hurt here, you can see him limping a little bit. Hands higher, hands higher. Unable to connect there. There's no give on that leg kick. Now connects with a right. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice kick. Right hand on point. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big head kick land. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice, good. Keep that pressure. They're about to break. 
Good punch land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Defense there, huge block for him. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Nice punch here. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. That one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Hooker. Oh, what a punch. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice kick. Back and forth we go here. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape by right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Hooker gets back up. Out of range with that kick attempt. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. Wow! He's out! He got him! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 5. To play the winner by knockout, Arnold Almighty Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.